Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On September 7th, Topaz Labs Photo AI 2 was released. The company says it is the biggest upgrade since the initial release, and that Photo AI 2 expands the product scope with lighting and color adjustments and significantly improves existing features like raw noise removal, sharpening, autopilot, and the Photoshop integration. Photo AI 2 costs 199 US dollars, but you can get Photo AI 2 for free if you've purchased or renewed Photo AI within the past year. If your upgrade license has expired, you can renew for half the price to get Photo AI version 2. So I've reviewed almost all of Topaz Labs products, and for the most part, they have outclassed their competition when it comes to noise, sharpening, and upscaling quality. But in this review, I'll be comparing Topaz Labs version 1 with version 2 and finding out whether it is worth the upgrade. Make sure to stick around till the end as I'll be doing a slideshow comparison on version 1 versus version 2 denoise performance. So let's get right into it. Before we look at version 2, let's remind ourselves of Photo AI version 1. From a single interface, you can denoise, sharpen, and upscale a photo or group of photos. It uses a technology called Autopilot, which analyzes your image for file type, metadata, camera information, noise severity, etc., and automatically determines whether to and or by how much you should denoise, sharpen, upscale your image. Now let's take a look at Photo AI 2 and its improvements. There are four main improvements. The first improvement is a UI improvement. When processing an image, Photo AI now shows a fancy widget, which provides the status of what Autopilot is doing every step of the way. It's a very intuitive implementation and brings to the fore how much advanced technology goes into that final image. The second improvement has to do with options. When denoising raw images, you now have four models to choose from, up from two, as it now includes both version 1 and version 2 models. When denoising JPEG, you have three models, up from two. The third improvement encroaches into the territory of traditional raw editors, which is something I believe Topaz Labs will be keen to go to get more people to buy its product. Photo AI can now automatically improve lighting and balance color. Here is an example of its lighting adjustment function. And here is an example of its color balance function. As you can see, both work reasonably well considering it's still just in beta. The final improvement, and the one which will be the main reason to consider upgrading to version 2, is its superior denoising performance. So let's watch a slideshow comparison, and at the end, I'll tell you whether Photo AI 2 is worth the upgrade. So I hope you enjoyed that slideshow comparison. For your information, 
all the settings of both version 1 and version 2 were on auto. I let autopilot do its magic. All I did was simply compare the results. I believe that's how most people would want to use photo AI. But was there an improvement? If it was not obvious from the presentation, the answer is yes. There was an improvement to the noising of raw images specifically. Photo AI 2 is now more aggressive when removing noise. You can see the improvement in this image. Notice the background is now much smoother compared to the previous version while maintaining strong detail. The same goes for this image. Noise is hardly present anywhere in version 2 as compared to version 1, where you can still clearly see the noise. Here is a third image. Again, a similar improvement. That being said, all is not roses for version 2. Version 2 does sacrifice detail to achieve less noise. You can see that in this set of images. So clear improvements for RAW files, but what about other formats? Well, when it comes to JPEG files or DNG files created out of RAW files, I found no improvement whatsoever. Version 1 images look practically like version 2. So with these results, do I recommend an upgrade from version 1 to version 2? If you already have Photo AI version 1, I will actually recommend to not upgrade for the reason that Topaz 1 is already excellent and the better smoothing does come with a penalty of less detail. I would wait for the noising to improve further and or for other features in its roadmap such as its object removal and lighting adjustment to be released and out of beta. That being said, if you don't have Topaz Labs Photo AI already, Photo AI 2 is a clear go in my view. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do you agree or disagree with my conclusion that there is no need to upgrade from Photo AI 1 to 2? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.